by. We're gonna be cheering. You got some aliens, Brian? We got a little couple of aliens down there. Check out these masks. These, these, let's see your glasses. Make those yourself. What do you call it? Do you have a name for it? Nice. <laughs> these are the little aliens from the children's house preschool, so they are doing great. And yes, the more you cheer, they will fly high. All right, from the little children to the little ski hill. And it is a favorite place for kids. Jack, do you remember how long ago they took out the ski jump? It was Idaho's last, it was Idaho's only and last ski jump to ever be pulled out. And it, I recall it was like 15 or 20 years ago. I think it was longer than that. I was think it? it might have been in the 70s, but I could be wrong. Okay. But little ski hill is where all of the kids learn to ski and where so many of our Olympians develop their skills to become Olympic athletes. Yeah. Instructors and students from the after school programs. And uh, they do Friday community dinners there as well. They're mascot. Go Knights. Mountain Light School. Look at this. That's a big crowd. That's a lot of kids in that school in that school. Jackie, look at this spectacular shot. I mean, this is worthy of more than just a few goosebumps as you look up and down the street, 10 deep on both sides of the street. And smiles all around. Everybody's happy. If there was any wonder whether or not the 51st year would be as big as the 50th year. Following up Jerry's Napa Auto Parts, I mentioned this is a parade that involves non-profits as well as for-profit ventures. Jerry's Napa Auto Parts. Been in Adams County, Valley and Adams County for over 30 years. Um, so yesterday we were driving and snow fell on the uh, windscreen wiper of our city manager and his first his first stop, Napa Auto Parts. <laughs> right. So thank heavens for Napa Auto Parts. And following them up, the Payette Lakes Vikings. Very boisterous middle school football team. They are marching in this parade. And those guys are loving it. Yes, very good. You know, we have really good schools in Macaw. Great, active, smart teachers. And we are so lucky to have the school system that we have here. <laughs> Vikings last year four and three they tell me still winning season so we'll take it let's get a cheer guys I want to see a cheer if they're the football team and the cheerleaders you guys got something for me give me a little something quickly can you do it can we do it nice about going to Payette Lake. These are students at Donnelly Elementary School. And they are wearing their school's dragon mascot. Wow. Look at this. This, they, is, this is Charlie Jr. Yeah, they could be related. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think it is. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> Look at these kids. Perhaps he hangs out on um, Lake Cascade. <laughs> That's a good, handsome group of people. Though. That is awesome. And, and this has been choreographed. You can see how they go from the left to the right side of the street. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They figured that out. Behind them, the Whoopies Sir Sebastian. Once again. He's five months old, weighs 37 pounds, accompanied by his manager, and that Canada, who offers sales, after sales service, greetings, transport, raw fiber, the Thunder Mountain Alpacas. I've got one down here, Mark. You I got, got one? All right. Let's talk to Whoopie, and Whoopie's owner, what's your name? Annette Canada. Wow, how old is Whoopi? Sir Sebastian, excuse me. Oh, uh, my son. He's a little guy. Well, he's an alpaca. He's going to be little? Yeah. So he's not going to be like llama big, right? Llamas get big. Llamas get a lot bigger. He's going to get. He'll max out to 200 pounds. And that's a 